Big bag. <laughs> Hey guys, Girls Undecided Genders, so today I am filming a thrifting haul for you because since the beginning of this month of October, my boyfriend Tyler and I have gone thrifting a couple times a week and we don't always get stuff but we like to go and browse, um, it's just fun for us. So over the past couple weeks we took advantage of two different sales that were going on. Um, the first Saturday of every month, the Goodwill's in our area and I don't know if it's like nationwide or anything, but all the ones that I've ever been to in the state of Indiana. Uh, the first Saturday of every month, everything in the store is half off, so we took advantage of that, and on that day we went to probably about four different Goodwills within the area, and then also on that day, the Salvation Army near us was doing their big half off sale, so it worked out pretty nicely, so we also went to another thrift store, but it wasn't on a sale day or anything like that, and it's called Thrifty Threads, so I got some stuff from each of those stores, and I just wanted to share it with you guys, so keep watching if you want to see what I got. Alright, really quickly, um, I forgot to mention we did go to the mall downtown, the Circle Center Mall, uh, one day last week, and I did pick up two items from, um, what brand is this? I want to say it's like Wet Seal. Yeah, it's Wet Seal. So those are the only two items that are not thrifted, so I'll get those out of the way real quick. The first one is this little bralette, and they had a huge sale going on. It was like a last chance summer sale or something, so I picked up this bralette. I don't know the original price of it. But I paid $2 and some change for it, with tax, obviously. But yeah, um, it just looks like this. It has this, like, kind of lacy, scalped business at the bottom. The back is really stretchy. The only thing is, it doesn't have adjustable straps, which is fine with me. Some people may not like that. The other thing I got from the mall, I paid $8 for, and Tyler actually picked this out for me. Um, it is a romper. It is not something I would probably typically go for, just because, um... The print on it is pretty bold. It's actually a bunch of roses. And so the first thrift store that I'm going to talk about is called Thrifty Threads. And it is in relation with the uh, Jewish religion. They're connected or affiliated with um, a Julian school around here, I want to say. But yeah, I went in there and I found some really nice stuff. Um, Tyler actually picked out two things for me, so we'll start with those. The first one is this shirt and it's like a baseball style t-shirt but it's just a pink floyd band shirt and i've never had a baseball style shirt before and he saw this and it is in the size large it's actually a child's shirt but that's fine with me it's pretty loose it's pretty baggy and um it was 6.99 so yeah there's that and then the other shirt he picked out for me is also a band shirt. It is Led Zeppelin and it is in the size small. This is a really thick, heavy material. So it just looks like this. And it has like the the arm cuffs kind of cinch in a little bit, but I still like it. It was $6.99 for this. And then I got two like bras. People might think that's gross if I get a bra from a thrift store, but in my opinion, it's just like getting a like if my sister gave me one or you know, something like that, I just take it home, I wash it, they're in good condition, the store doesn't accept, like, disgusting condition things. Also, a lot of stuff I have doesn't have a tag on it anymore, just because I took it off, it's itchy when I try it on when I get home. But I got this bra, it is Victoria's Secret brand, and I'm not going to tell you size, because that's none of your business. But it just looks like this, um, it's, it's not like a full coverage kind of bra, I mean it covers, it covers what it's supposed to, but it doesn't, like, cover absolutely everything. So it just looks like that. And then I got this bralette. And it's in like a pinky cream color, I guess you would say. I don't really know how to describe it, so hopefully the camera picks it up nicely. This doesn't have a size on it or anything. But I don't have a bralette in this color. So I figured it would be good to pick up. Um, I got a shirt, and it is from the brand Sky. It is a size small. This shirt really attracted me because of the way it's made. This covers most of my butt, but that's not the part I like. The part I like is this is mesh, this sleeve is mesh, and then this whole side on the left side is mesh, and then the front and the back are like this super soft material, and the right sleeve is obviously this material too. I don't know what it's made out of, but I just like the kind of contrast of mesh to like, like thicker fabric, and it's super comfortable. Um, this was $6.99, so that's not bad. And then I got this dress. Um, Tyler liked this dress. Um, yeah, it's from the ba band. 
brand Banana Republic and it is in a size extra small. And I really like this one because it's super soft, super comfortable, and it's not like most dresses I get to where I feel like I have to have a special occasion to wear it to. This, I feel like I just throw on with like some boots and maybe like a cardigan, a long necklace, and I'd be good to go. Um, a little detail about this dress too is it has a zipper on the left bottom. It's just like a little detail. And this dress was $9.99. So $10 Banana Republic dress. Can't really go wrong with that. <laughs> Alright, so the next thrift store that we went to was Salvation Army on their half off day. And we made two different trips and I have an item from each trip. The first one we went, the first time that we went, um, I only got a pair of shoes for my sister the first time. And then we went back again that next, that same day with my sister and my boyfriend. And I ended up getting two items. I got a, two different jackets. I'm only going to show one because the first one is a gift for my mom. But the one I got for myself is by the brand Pell Club. And it is in a size medium. Just this oversized, like, suede, leather-esque. Um, big brown jacket. Here in Indiana, it is already getting extremely cold to where I could wear this pretty much during the day and it'll keep me warm. And at night, I might have to throw like a long sleeve shirt or a hoodie underneath it. So, pick this up. I want to say I paid like $4 for it with the half off. So, originally it was an $8 jacket. Still a really good price. We also went back last week and I was browsing around the men's section, which is where I usually find. The t-shirts that I get, um, that I turn into cutoffs or just t-shirts to have. And I saw this shirt and it was 99 cents. It is a band shirt for the band Bring Me the Horizon. And they're heavier, they're a bit of a heavier band. Um, some screaming, things like that, which um, I definitely <laughs> enjoy. But uh, I saw this shirt and it was 99 cents, so I picked it up and it's in the size extra small. So the last thrift store that we went to was Goodwill and we went on the first Saturday of the month. We went to probably about four or five different Goodwills that day and got some things. So the first two things I'm going to show you are shoes. And I'm going to show these first because this is kind of a, a little bit of a bigger deal for me. I don't ever find shoes at thrift stores that I like, that are in good condition, or that fit me. So to find two pairs of shoes is pretty nice. The first pair are from the brand, I want to say this is Massimo. Um, they look like this. They're just these black single strap um, heels. And I really like these because I've been trying to find a pair of shoes like these for the fall and summer occasions, like to dress up an outfit a little bit more. And they have these cute little, like, um, studding details on them. I want to say I paid $2 for these with the half off that day. And then we went to a Goodwill that um, neither of us had ever been to before. And I found these beauties right here. And they look like this. They're kind of like gladiator style shoes. They go all the way up to my knee. And I think they bend a little bit with my knee. They just look like this, and I want to say I paid like $2 for these, but $2 it's a great deal for these, and they're pretty much brand spanking new. Um, they just have a little strap. I wish this part went down all the way to the, over the foot, but I'm not going to complain. And they are adjustable in the front with the tie, and they zip up in the back, and I saw these, and I was like, please, 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 please fit me, and they did, and I was so happy. But moving on, I picked up two accessories. The first one is a bag, and I have a lot of bags as is. The shelf right up there actually has my bags on it. But I needed a bag that I could just throw over my shoulder, preferably like a crossbody type bag, and it was small and I could fit my stuff in it. So I got this one right here. It's just this little red and white polka dot bag with like faux brown leather detailing. Um, it's It looks brand new. The inside's pretty clean. But I figured it has enough you know, space on the inside and this little compartment up front where I can fit my stuff in if I'm just like on the go real quick. And I do like the fact that the strap is adjustable right there and it is a crossbody. So I don't have to worry about people stealing my crap. <laughs> the second accessory I got is a scarf and I was wearing this in my last video. It was a makeup haul video and it looks like this if I can get it. There we go. It just looks like this. It's a kind of a thinner material but that's fine with me. Um, yeah, it just looks like this. Picked this up, I want to say this was only a couple bucks as well. I can't remember how much the bag was, I want to say it was probably like a dollar. But what really drew me in were these colors and the fact that it's striped. I don't own very many striped things and um, I figured I'd give it a go and I really did like the color of this. Um, they had a couple more of these in different prints as well, but I just grabbed that one. I got two pairs of shorts while we were at Goodwill. 
And the first pair are from the brand Mind Code, and they're in a size small. They're these high-waisted shorts with studding on the front, and the back just looks like this. These are originally $3.99, but with a half off, it was like $1.50. The only thing is that these do not angle up on the side like most high-waisted shorts do, but I mean, if I wanted to, I could fix that myself. I just don't feel like it. The second pair of shorts I got are, they're not super high-waisted like those ones are. Those ones go up. Um, pretty much past my belly button, and I'm five foot five and a half, five six, somewhere around there. But these ones go probably right underneath my belly button. And they're from the brand Angels, and they just look like this, just plain black. Um, I've been looking for a pair of plain black shorts for quite some time, and I was pretty excited to pick these up. The tag isn't on those, but they were three ninety nine like the other ones were. I picked up a couple T-shirts. Um. While we were out, actually, I only picked up one t-shirt that I'm seeing in front of me. And it was originally $1.99, and it's a size medium. And it says, don't bro me if you don't know me. It just looks like this. I figured I don't own very many orange shirts, and the saying on it's kind of funny. But I figured it'd be good for when I go to the gym, when I work out, or just lazy days, or when I'm sleeping, or anything like that. So moving right along, I got a couple more fitnessy related items. The first thing I got is this champion bra and it is sports bra whatever and it is in like a lilac -y color and I own a lot of champion sports bras just because they're double lines they're pretty inexpensive I would say for a sports bra and they're good material they hold up pretty nicely so picked that up, price isn't on it but once it was like a dollar and nine originally I picked up two shirts from Nike and one from Adidas the first one is this Nike Pro dry fit shirt and it's a medium. I get my running shoes usually in a size bigger than what I normally wear. So they're a little bit baggy. And it just looks like this. It's a bright orange and it has purple detailing. The racer back. I love dry fit material. It's so, so comfortable to me. So extremely comfortable. And the other um, shirt I got from them is also a dry fit in the size medium. And it says freakishly amazing on it in hot pink and white. And the shirt is obviously like a bright bright neon blue with a racer back and I figured, you know, good shirts out for the gym. The Adidas shirt I got is a bright lime green color and just says Adidas, Adidas with their logo on the front with a racer back. I don't know if this is reversible because the inside is just this meshy material but the seam doesn't look like the normal seam of like the inside of a shirt so it might be reversible. I don't know, I guess I'll find out at some point. So something else I got was this dress and Tyler actually helped me pick this out and it is from the brand Material Girl and originally it was $5.99 but it kind of matches that purse I got it's just this ladybug-esque peplum type dress red and red with you know black stripes and the band is an, elas an, elastic, <laughs> an elastic band so it stretches to my waist a little bit better than most dresses would I saw this, it is in a size extra small and it fit beautifully, so I figured it would be good for like a photo shoot or something like that. I also got, I feel like I got more stuff over here. I got four regular, kind of, I guess, regular shirts. The first one I got is from the brand Full Tilt and it is in the size medium, which is fine because it's more of a crop top-esque shirt. But it just looks like this, starts out white and fades down to like a dark charcoal gray-black color. And the back is pretty cool. It has this um, caged cutout right here. I guess cutout cage. I don't know. But it's in maroon. And I just really like this together. I figured it was good for a lazy day. The next shirt I got is from the brand um, John Paul Richard. And it is from the uniform collection for the petites. This is a petite small. And it's kind of like a crop top. It's definitely kind of 90s inspired. Because it's more of a crocheted crop top. But I figured... With some high-waisted shorts or high-waisted pants, um, it would look good. The next shirt I got is something that's definitely out of my comfort zone and definitely something I wouldn't normally purchase, but because <laughs> that has sequins on it. But it just looks like this. It's just this cute little um, shirt from Charlotte Russe with the gold um, sequins on it. It has like bat wing type sleeves. I don't know, but I figured with like a cute dark bralette and some high-waisted shorts, some leggings, it would look really nice. And it is so long that it covers my butt. So that that's nice. The next shirt I got is this red shirt, once again by Charlotte Russe, size small, and it just looks like this. 
This doesn't go all the way down to like cover my butt or anything, but it does cover my waist and things like that. And I don't have very many red um, clothing items. I think red looks good on me, but for some reason I can never find red clothing that I like. So I was pretty excited when I found this, and it has like a little um, gold detail right there. And the absolute last thing I got while thrifting is the shirt I have on now. Let me see if I can show you guys. Ooh. It just looks like this. I know you can see my bra a lot underneath. It's fine. I don't care. But it's just the sequins top. And the back um, has like a really deep V. And I have a black, black, a black lace bra on underneath. But I saw this and it's pretty baggy. Probably makes me look a little bigger than what I am. But that's fine. Um, but it isn't an extra small. So... I thought it was something different, and it's not something I would normally get, so I picked it up as well. But yeah, that is the last of absolutely everything I got for this haul. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm going to be doing kind of like a styling try-on-esque video here soon. I didn't want to try things on in this video for the sake of on the length of the video and things like that. But yeah, let me know what your favorite pieces were, um, maybe some stuff that you found or different thrift stores that I should try out. And follow me on Instagram if you want. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to get back in the swing of posting new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.